Dear brothers and sisters, today I want to talk to you about Saint Veronica Giuliani and her incredible testimony, which even after so many years still serves as a guide and a warning to all of us. Saint Veronica Giuliani had many extraordinary visions, especially of hell, and at the order of the Virgin Mary, she meticulously and detailedly recorded everything in her diaries because her testimony was meant to be spread among all people. Dear brothers and sisters, before proceeding further and listening to the words of Saint Veronica Giuliani, I invite you to subscribe to the channel to be part of our community of faith and prayer. Saint Veronica Giuliani was born in 1660 in Città di Castello, a small town in the heart of Italy. She lost her mother at just four years old, and at the age of eight, moved to Piacenza, where her father was in charge of the finances of the Farnese family. In 1670, she received her first communion, and from that moment began her journey in mental prayer. Seven years later, she entered the monastery of Santa Chiara. Overcoming her father's opposition, she took religious vows among the Capuchin poor clares and adopted the name Veronica. Saint Veronica Giuliani, throughout her life, responded to the many blessings she received by offering herself as a victim for the redemption of sinners and unbelievers and for the success of the church. She was always willing to endure any suffering. She left a vast legacy of writings, including diaries, letters, and poems, which place her among the most illustrious poets of her time. Given her deep mystical experience, it has been proposed that she be recognized as a doctor of the church. Dear brothers and sisters, as the saint herself recounts, one day while she was engaged in prayer, Saint Veronica was struck by an ecstasy, and in that moment, the Lord God spoke to her and led her to a terrifying place. It seemed to me that the Lord showed me a very dark place. It was burning like a great furnace. There were flames and fire, but no light was seen. I heard shrieks and noises, but nothing was visible. There was a horrendous stench and smoke, but there is nothing in this life that can compare to it. At this point, God gave me an understanding of the ingratitude of creatures and how displeasing this sin is to Him. And here he appeared to me, all in passion, scourged, crowned with thorns, with a living heavy cross on his shoulder. Thus he said to me, Behold and observe well this place, which will never end. Here, as torment, stands my justice and my rigorous indignation. In this I seemed to hear a great noise. Many demons appeared, all with chains, holding beasts of different kinds bound. These beasts became men, but so terrifying and ugly that they frightened me more than the demons themselves. I was trembling all over, and I wanted to approach where the Lord stood. But despite the little space, I could not get any closer. The Lord was dripping blood, and beneath Him was that weight. Oh God, I wanted to collect the blood, to take up that cross, and with great longing, I desired to understand the meaning of it all. In an instant, those creatures again became figures of beasts, and then they were all cast down into that darkest place, cursing God and the saints. Here it seemed to me that the Lord made me understand that this place was hell, and those souls were dead, and, because of sin, had become like beasts, and among them were even religious people. I seemed to be transported to a deserted, dark, and solitary place where I heard nothing but howls, shrieks, hissing of snakes, noises of chains, of wheels, of irons, thunder so great that, at every blow, I thought the whole world would collapse. And I could not speak. I could not invoke the Lord. It seemed to me to be a place of punishment and God's wrath towards me for the many offenses made to His Divine Majesty. And I had all my sins before me. I felt a fire burning, but I saw no flames. I felt blows above me, but I saw no one. 
I felt like a flame of fire approaching me and felt it strike me, but I saw nothing. Finally, amidst so much darkness, I seemed to see a small light in the air. Little by little, it expanded greatly. It seemed to lift me from such pains, but I saw nothing else. Dear brothers and sisters, this is one of the many extraordinary visions that our Lord granted to St. Veronica Giuliani. But this pain and suffering was not a warning for her, but was meant to be a caution to be shared with all of us. One morning, during a moment of reflection, St. Veronica Giuliani was caught up in ecstasy, and the Virgin Mary appeared to her, saying, In a rapture, you were brought to hell to undergo new torments. And upon your arrival, you saw that many and many souls were plummeting into it, each having its own place of torment. Daughter, I want you to describe the seven most painful places in hell and for whom they are intended. The first is the place where Lucifer is chained, and with him is Judas, who serves as his seat, and there are all those who have been followers of Judas. The second is the place where all the ecclesiastics and prelates of the Holy Church are because having been elevated in dignity and honors, they have more greatly perverted the faith, trampling the blood of Jesus Christ, my Son, with many enormous sins. In the third place you saw, there are all the souls of the religious men and women. In the fourth there go all the confessors, for having deceived the souls of their penitents. In the fifth, there are all the souls of judges and administrators of justice. The sixth place, on the other hand, is intended for all the superiors of religion. Finally, in the seventh, there are all those who have chosen to live by their own will and who have committed every sort of sin, especially carnal sins. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the testimony of St. Veronica Giuliani, a woman who, through her actions, became an instrument of God, and through her visions, a witness to his message. We trust in the grace of our Lord, for in him alone is eternal salvation. Share in the comments your testimonies of faith and do not forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos and to join the community of faith and prayer. May God bless you.